Good morning, good morning, Kingdom King and Priest Peter Spencer Wisdom Speak. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I love you. Pray today you have an awesome and wonderful day for this, the day that the Lord has truly made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I want to read to you Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 9, going all the way down to verse 15, and it reads as wise. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive you. Your trespasses. The word is already blessed. So with that being said, my brothers and sisters, let's go to the throne of grace. We cover this prayer in the blood of the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And we come to be purged and purified by the same blood to wash our robe that it doesn't be dirty. So we can be clothed and that the shame of our nakedness do not appear. And then we ask for the eyes to laugh so that we may see. We come to buy gold from you tried in the fire that we may be rich. We lay down our, we lay down and repent for our lukewarm faith and our spiritual understanding. And we ask for the spiritual zeal for you, because you said, be zealous, Jesus, because you love us and you have rebuked us according to Revelation 319. Jesus, come, we want to join you as you join us that we can dine together. We put on the full armor of God to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Holy Spirit of God, help me today to hear what is coming from the kingdom of God and let your presence be known today as I walk out my salvation. Holy, holy, holy is your name, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come to seek your kingdom and your righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ to be cleansed of all spiritual unrighteousness that is hindering us today. We need to be purged with spiritual hyssop that we'll be made whole and righteous. For when we do the things unrighteous, it is contrary to your righteous way, will, purpose, and plan for our life. Times we lack the knowledge and wisdom, for we try to do life on our own, but we know that Jesus Christ came to give to us the abundant life. So give to us the power and the glory to have the abundant life, which is in Christ Jesus, your only begotten Son. And we, as your children, join heirs with Christ Jesus, for in this relationship we need your we need you, Father, as the husband man. Jesus Christ as the true vine, and we as branches that we will bear much fruit, especially in these last and evil days. Guide us, lead us, give us ears to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying, for we don't need a strong delusion in believing a lie versus receiving the truth in Christ Jesus. So today, let our hearts pattern of faith and the walk of Jesus Christ that we will do greater works in the power and the glory for every second, every minute, every hour, for we come in, come now by faith which is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen for, by it the elders obtain a good report. Holy and righteous God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, honor your word for us today, that we will not be lacking in power and glory in the name of Jesus Christ. We thirst and hunger for your righteousness, and we need your presence today, that we'll walk, talk, and live in boldness of power and glory. So loose it right now in the name of Jesus Christ, for we need our daily bread today. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. You have a wonderful day, kingdom. I love you.